Hey everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. If your Apple Watch Control Center isn't working, don't worry, you're not alone. And there are a few reasons why this might be happening. In this video, I'm going to explain what could be causing the issue and how you can get your Control Center back up and running. Let's get started. First off, your Apple Watch might be experiencing a software glitch or a temporary issue. This can happen from time to time, especially if your watch has been running for a while without a restart. Sometimes these minor glitches can affect how certain features like the control center function. Another possibility is that you're running an outdated version of watch OS. Apple regularly releases updates to fix bugs and improve performance. So if your watch isn't up to date, this could be the root of the problem. Make sure your watch OS is updated to the latest version to avoid any functionality issues. Now, if you're using watchOS 10 or later, it's important to remember that the way you access the control center has changed. Instead of swiping up like before, you now need to press the side button. So, if you're swiping up and nothing is happening, that could be why. Sometimes the screen itself might not be responding properly. This can be due to dirt, moisture, or even damage to the screen. Make sure your screen is clean and dry, and if it's damaged, you might need to get it repaired to restore full functionality. Another thing to keep in mind is that certain apps or modes can prevent the control center from appearing. For example, if you're in the middle of a workout or using a specific app, the control center might not be accessible in the usual way. In these cases, try exiting the app or finishing your activity before attempting to access the control center again. If none of these seem to be the issue, restarting your Apple Watch is a good next step. This can often resolve any minor software glitches that might be preventing the control center from working properly. Just hold down the side button until you see the power off slider, turn off your watch, then turn it back on. And that's it. Hopefully, one of these tips helps you get your control center working again. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips and advice. See you guys later.